Well, hello, and how are you? Hey, friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shadow Del Brisco, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today's Wednesday, July the 7th. You got a happy birthday shout-out going out to Tom Jackson, Muriel J. Sarbini, Martin Kelly, Angela Jones, and Solomo. And so, without further ado, here uh, is a birthday song for the four of you. Hey, Alan. Hey, Angela. Hey, Martin. Hey, Muriel. Hey, Tom. Hey, y'all heard it's birthday today. So, happy birthday, I must say. You know, you're a one more year older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. Mm, I said, hey, Angela. Hey, Martin. Hey, Morelli. Hey, Tom. Hey, I heard it's birthday today. So, happy birthday, I must say. You know, uh, that's another day. Trip around the sun that you made. So, a uh, happy birthday to you, I say. I said, a uh, happy birthday to you today. Happy birthday to y'all. And many, 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 many more. All right, all right, all right. Mm, okie dokie. Hey, you know what? Uh, that leads us into... Mm, the Shinsho likes. And the Shinsho likers are Martin Kelly, a.k.a. Smiley, and Marianne Williams Briscoe, a.k.a. Mom. And then there's the Shinsho sharers, Doug Bell Bell, a.k.a. Steve Clay. Plus, my pokey pal, Amanda Sue Little. Mm, always on the draw to hit that pokey button. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Hey, that being said, uh, let's get some weather forecast here for the St. Charles viewing area. And uh, the viewing the weather forecast today is going to be brought to you by the Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a... No, no, no. No, it's not. It's going to be brought to you by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. That's right. Refreshing Fellow Word Fellowship Church is located at... 2054 uh, Campus Drive, St. Charles, Missouri. That's right. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is pastored by Pastor John Schumer. And that's right. We have uh, our message and worship on Sundays at 11 a.m. in the morning. And then we have an hour of power prayer on Wednesdays from 1.30 to 3.30. So if you all would like to come to an hour of power prayer, Come on in to Refreshing Word Fellowship Church, located at 2054 Campus Drive, directly across from um, Greener's Pub at the St. Andrews Ax uh, Annex, right behind St. Andrews Plaza. All righty. All righty, then. Got to say hi to the kids today after the uh, prayer group, that's for sure. Got to talk to the kids in the kitty pen. They was all out there and rested in the, my power chair. Anyway, it's a nice temperate 88 degrees outside. But for the remainder of the day, we got mostly cloudy skies this evening. We'll be coming partly cloudy after midnight. A stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible with low temperatures around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable. Now for Thursday, July the 8th. We're going to have partly cloudy skies with high temperatures around 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday, July the 9th, partly cloudy skies. A stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. Highs around 90, uh, or 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Scattered thunderstorms in the evening, then mainly cloudy skies overnight. With thunderstorms likely. Lows are going to be around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be east to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 90%. That's a pretty big chance, don't you think? Saturday, uh, July the 10th. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms throughout. Highs near 83 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 50%. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. And uh, low temperatures around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 50%. 
And then for Sunday, July the 11th, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs are going to be around 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. And then a shower or two is quite possible early with partly cloudy skies later at night. Low temperatures around 64 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 30%. And then for our final day of our five day forecast, Monday, July the 12th, intervals of clouds and sunshine. Highs around 82 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few cloud, uh, clouds throughout the evening and in nighttime with low temperatures of around 65 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Winds are going to be southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that, my friend, concludes your five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. All right, still got some more songs uh, called up by the uh, brat. She's loving it, a.k.a. Ashley Nicole Briscoe, my daughter. And she's got a few songs like this one here. Why you got a friend in me? You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Well, you just remember what your old pal said. Boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got troubles. Well, I've got them too. There ain't anything well, I wouldn't do for you. We stick together and see it through. Cause you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than me. I am. And bigger and stronger too, maybe. But none of them will ever love you the way that I do. It's me and you, boy. And as the year goes by, well, our friendship will never die. Cause you're gonna see it's our destiny that you got a friend in me. 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 I said that you're gonna see it's our destiny. Cause you got a friend in me. All right, there you go. That's it. Mm, that's all. How about another one, though? How about another one? This one will lead into our story with the kids. I'm going to bring this one to you by Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. Wreaths, uh, have, we got the holidays coming up once again, and always with the holidays. And there's always a main event in your life. If you've got, like, a wedding coming up or maybe just a, a birthday party or a, or a baby shower. Anything of that nature, if you would like to have table settings or wreaths or anything of that nature, just give uh, Jamie a little tagline over on her page, Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. She's always out there. That's right, Jamie. We'll pick, hook you up. You just let her know what you're looking for and what you need, and she will be glad to design something for you, go over with what you need in colors, and set things up for you so that you will be surprised by the beautiful, beautiful arrangements that she can make. She is quite the crafty gal. Seasonal Wreaths by Jamie. That's uh, Jamie O'Driscoll. All right, here we go. Head on over to her Facebook page. All righty, here we go. How about this one? Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, in all passing grace. Well, it means no worries for the rest of our days. It's all problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata. Yeah, it's our motto. 
What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto? You. Yeah, those two words. We solve. We'll solve all your problems. That's right. Take it, Puma. Here. Why? Why? When he was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. Very nice. Very nice. Great job. He found his aroma lacked a certain appeal. He could clear the savanna after every meal. I'm sensitive soul, though I seem thick-skinned, and, and it hurts that my friends never stood downwind. And oh, the shame! He was ashamed, though through of thought of changing my name. What's in a name? And I got downhearted. How did you feel? Every time that I far Hey, hey, Pumba, not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. I say Hakuna Matata. I say Hakuna. I say Matata. I say Hakuna. Matata, Akuna, Matata, Akuna, Matata, Akuna, Matata. All right, there you go. That there is going to lead into our story for today. Children's story for today is going to be the Lion King. So gather the kids all around. We're going to kick one off right now. This is for the kids. Hey, it's Couch Time TV Grandpa. That's right, TV Grandpa Shenandoah or TV Grandpa Shen. Here I am, ready for mm, TV Grandpa story time. That's right, it's story time with TV Grandpa. Are you all ready? Are you wrapped around the old TV or the cell phone or the laptop or the computer? However you get to watch the Shen Show, why, here we go. The Lion King. Long ago, in Pride Lands, in Africa, a lion king, Mufasa, and Queen Saria welcomed a young cub, Simba. Simba was to be the next Lion King. On the day of his birth, all the animals of the forest came to see him at Pride Rock. There were celebrations everywhere, and Simba, uh, the next Lion King, is presented to them by Rafiki, who is a baboon who was the kingdom's advisor. Later, as Simba begins to grow up, Mufasa teaches his son about the circle of life and explains his responsibilities and duties. Now Scar, Mufasa's younger evil brother, was jealous, for he was not granted the throne. He plotted against his brother and the future Lion King. And one day, he tells tall tales to Simba and his betrothed Nyla, coaxing them to go exploring into the forbidden elephant graveyard. And so, mm, mm, Nala and Simba went there, but they were attacked by spotted hyenas who were working for Scar. Zuza, who was in charge of looking after Simba, Zazu, sorry, Zazu, who was in charge of looking after Simba, saw the danger and alerted Mufasa. In the end, Zazu was ordered by Mufasa to save the two cubs, even though Mufasa was angry with Simba for acting recklessly. He soon forgave Simba.
The old kings are always looking out for us from above, he tells Simba. Scar, not happy. <coughs> Scar, not happy with how the things turned out, hatches another plan. This time, he lures Simba to a gorge, and while the hyenas drive a large herd of wildebeest towards Simba's spot, the idea was to get Simba and Mufasa crushed in a stampede. Scar calls Mufasa, informing him about Simba and the impending peril. At once, Mufasa runs in to save Simba. With great difficulty, Mufasa manages to save Simba, but as a result, he himself falls to his death. Now Scar massively convinces innocent Simba that Mufasa's death was all Simba's fault. Now you must flee, Simba. If the other animals find out, you don't even know what kind of danger you would be in. Flee! And so Simba ran away. You three, you three. Scar orders three of his spotted hyena henchmen. Uh, make sure that that cub does not live in an, an, another day. And then Scar returns to Pride Rock and tells the others of what happened and crowns himself as the king. Meanwhile, the hyenas are unable to kill Scar because... Uh, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, the hyenas are unable to kill Simba, and Scar becomes angry, be, but is relieved that Simba does not return. Elsewhere, Simba collapses in a desert due to the exhaustion and fatigue, while Timon, Timon a meerkat, and Pumbaa, a warthog, they find Simba. These two rescue him and instantly become inseparable friends. Simba lives and grows up in the desert peacefully at an oasis. And one day when Simba has grown into an adult, a young lioness comes to the desert in search of prey. Well, the young lioness turns out to be Nala. Well, they reunite, spend time and fall in love. Nala then tells Simba of all that has happened at Pride Rock in the Pride Lands. Simba, you must come back, she pleads. Under Scar's reign, our home has become more of a wasteland. Simba still felt guilty about his father's death, so he refuses Nala and runs away. Well, he could not bring himself to tell Nala the truth. Simba then encounters Rafiki, the old advisor. You know not who you are, young Simba, Rafiki tells him. The night as Simba looked that night, as Simba looked at the sky, night sky, he was, had visions and visited his had a vision and was visited by his father. Simba, this is your rightful place, Simba was told. But the next day, Simba decided to re return home. Timon and Pumbaa, who had gone, grown incredibly close to Simba, go along with him too. So Simba goes back to Pride Rock, where all of the lions res reside, and confront Scar. Scar, being evil as he was, taunts Simba, reminding Simba of his father's death. And as Scar and Simba fight, Scar reveals that Mufasa's death was not an accident. It was planned, and he tells he shows Simba exactly how he had killed his father. Well, Simba becomes engaged, and very, um, and he pins Scar to the ground in order to restrain him from running away, and he forces Scar to tell everyone of his crimes. Well, Scar breaks free and attempts to make an escape while all the others try to fend off the hyenas. Scar comes to the edge of the rock, and when he turns around, he finds Simba back blocking his way. My dear nephew, it wasn't me, 
the hyenas forced me to do so. And the evil lion pleaded, but Simba had grown, and with age he had become wise. He knew what Scar was capable of, so he spared Scar's life. Leave Pride Rock and Pride Lands now, and make sure you never show your face here again. And if you do come back, be prepared to die, Simba tells Scar. Well, Scar, still not satisfied, attacks Simba, but Simba manages to throw him off of the rock, where Scar is bound by all the hyenas. You betrayed us, they tell Scar. We heard what you told Simba, they say. In the end, the hyenas killed Scar for betraying them. With Scar gone, Simba takes his rightful place as the king. And the moment he does so, rain begins to fall all along the drought-ridden lands. And a few years later, the Pride Lands become lush and green again. And once more, all the animals gather around the Pride Rock as Rafiki presents Simba and Nala's son to the animals. And there it is, the Lion King. It's the circle of life. I don't know the circle of life. That is why I didn't sing it, Ash. Sorry. Okay, that concludes The Lion King, which concludes story time with TV Grandpa. And so now we are going to do the uh, Daily Bread portion of the program. The Daily Bread portion of the program today is going to be brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 is Job 34 through 35 and Acts 15, 1 through 21. Okie dokie, that's the Bible with Briscoe 2021. Now, the Daily Bread portion of the program, as you all know, I cannot read the Daily Bread portion of the program. I cannot read the devotion. The title of the devotion is The Wisdom We Need. Mm, but the devotion itself I cannot read due to the fact that they have their own narrated version. And so, it's unavailable to me to read for copyright issues. If you would like to read their devotion, then you can go to odb.org, click on the daily devotion, and uh, you may read their book. And I tell you what, it's really cool if you just throw a little donation their way so that they can help spread the gospel all around the world. All right, today's uh, insights and scriptures for the wisdom we need is Proverbs 1, 1 through 9. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the discerning get guidance for understanding proverbs and parables and the saying the sayings and riddles of the wise the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools desire wisdom and instruction So listen up, my listen, my son, to your father's instructions, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. They are a garland to grace your hand. They are a garden, a garland to grace your head, and a chain to adorn your neck. So there you have it. You get it from your mother and your father, who have gotten it from the Word of God, from the book of God from the Bible. Okay, hey, that's the end of the Daily Bread portion of the program that was brought to you today by 
The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Hey, that looks like it's it for me, friends. The Shin Show has come to an end. And so, I've got one more song for you, and it goes like this. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here has been Shindle Briscoe saying hello and how are you. Thanks for turning into the Shin Show, and as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and save me tomorrow, because, well, hey, I'll be here, and I hope that you are too.